I think this might be my very favorite tumbler I have ever made and I'm gonna show you exactly how I made it. Remember, you need to start with a prepped and base coated tumbler and the first thing you're gonna do is apply your vinyl. This is pattern vinyl from I think Donkey Craft Vinyl. I have a whole set of black and white that I've just been dying to use but I will link everything underneath this video. So the first thing you wanna do is sort of measure on your cup where you want your V-split to be. How far do you want it to go down and what you kinda of want that to look like. Then you can cut off that triangle of your vinyl and get it on your tumbler. I always like to anchor my vinyl down with painter's tape before I peel back the edge so then I know it's not going to move anywhere. Once you get that taped down, take your squeegee tool. I like mine with the felt edge from Craft Haven that I can then kind of press down this vinyl, minimizing any air bubbles. And I am using a skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven and I highly recommend that you use a straight style tumbler. Fold your vinyl over the top and then cut with an X-Acto knife. You wanna angle your knife down towards the tumbler so you can have a little bit of that edge exposed on the top. Just be careful, you don't wanna cut anything. And then we're going to apply glitter in the striped pattern. You can make a template or buy a template. I decided to just go with painter's tape because it is a lot easier than creating your own template from scratch. I didn't know exactly what it was gonna look like, so I went ahead and applied tape for every different stripe so I could at least get a base down. I'm using a one inch painter's tape, but it will sort of look a little bit different if you're gonna use a different size and where you place that original vinyl, but it's not that serious. Um, just go through and apply all of your strips till you get your to the totally uh, covered along the bottom. Then you can remove the sections that you want. For the glitter, I'm doing a black and a silver, so I wanna do the black first, and I decided I wanted to do three strips. So I removed those three strips of tape and used my X-Acto knife to trim up and sharpen up all of those edges. I did need to add um, a strip of tape over the vinyl so I could have a nice crisp line there as well. I went ahead and did a strip all the way around the bottom. This kind of was a little bit tedious, but I knew I wanted to paint the bottom black, and I thought the best way to make this look as neat as possible would be to do tape and then use my knife to kind of pull away any of the pieces I didn't need. And then that way, it's, it was just a little bit easier. It only took a few extra minutes to do so. So once I had all of my tape down and everything was ready, I went in to apply my glitter. I am going to, on this particular black glitter, use Grand, or actually I'm gonna use Bright Tone to apply this glitter, but you can use Grand Finale or you can use your glitter glue. In the next sections, I'm gonna use glitter glue to show you that as well. So I just brushed on my Bright Tone, that's what I decided to use. I have still have some to use up since making the switch to Grand Finale. And I really do like applying glitter with Bright Tone and Grand Finale. So I brushed that on and then I'm using a holographic black from Glitzy Creations to apply my glitter. Let it dry, depending on what you use to apply, um, it's gonna take different amounts of time. So just let it dry the proper amount and then you can dry brush so you get any excess off and it doesn't clump up. Then I did need a second coat of glitter so I'm using my glitter glue to do that. I just brushed over the glitter, smoothed it out, and then applied my glitter right on top of that wet glitter glue. Let that dry for two hours and do another dry brush. And then I went ahead and removed the tape. It looks so good. And then I wanted to seal this so I didn't get so much contamination. I was only careful along the top because I really wanted to make sure I didn't get any stray glitter along the vinyl line. So you'll see me kind of being careful using my finger to wipe away some glitter glue. But then I just put glitter glue on the whole rest of the tumbler, even where there wasn't any glitter. It's totally fine, it will dry clear and you won't be able to tell that it's there. Plus I'm gonna cover it with glitter, but just careful around that vinyl edge and then covered it all with glitter glue. I let that dry for two hours and then I went in with my silver glitter. I'm using a different cut actually. I decided to go with a thicker cut, still a fine glitter, but it's a .0 one five instead of a 0 .008. So it's a little bit thicker and I really do like 
the dimension that it gave. It kind of gave it a little variation in that glitter. And I'm just taping off the black parts so I don't get any of that silver glitter on my black glitter. And what I didn't do was any coats of Grand Finale um, in between, but that can help to make sure that your silver or your second color doesn't stick to the glitter that you already have. I can link another video where I talked more about that in detail in the top right corner. But then all I did was brush on my glitter glue. Again, use whatever adhesive that you want, whether that's glitter glue, Grand Finale, Bright Tone, it doesn't really matter. Um, but brush it out and then apply your glitter. It can help to base coat your tumbler in a similar color. I personally do wish I would have um, done a little gray paint beforehand, but it all worked out in the end. But it just, you get better coverage if your cup matches the color that you're trying to use. So I removed that tape once it was dry and used a brush to make sure I had all of the silver glitter removed from the tumbler. I went in and did my sealing with the glitter glue. I was trying to be a little bit careful to kind of brush only on the silver um, to make sure I didn't contaminate. And then I brushed only on the black. Although if you do the dry brush, you don't usually have too much of a contamination problem. So what I did was seal that with the glitter glue and I did have a few spots that needed a little bit more glitter that I missed. So probably wouldn't have had to do these spot treatments had I base coated it with that silver paint, but it all worked out in the end. Once I did this, I did actually seal a second time just to cut down on the total time it took to make this tumbler. But once you get your glitter on and sealed, it's time to get a smooth surface. You get a smooth surface by applying your coats of Grand Finale and sanding until it is smooth. I will link a step-by-step -step tutorial of that process in the top right corner. Once you get a smooth surface, you can apply your stripes. For this tumbler, I am using vinyl, just vinyl cut rectangles to add a little bit of dimension where the vinyl and the glitter meet. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner. I have a full tutorial on how to cut and size and make these strips. So I will link that tutorial as well. I decided to go with a black, which was a little bit thicker. I want to say I did like 0.08 width for the black. I can't really remember, but um, a little bit thicker for the black. And then I went in with my X-Acto knife and got the edges nice and trimmed. Then I went in with some silver textured tr Cricut vinyl and it is thinner than the black. I want to say I did about half the width, so maybe 0.04. Uh, I wish I would have done a little bit less than half to have a little bit more of the black showing, but it's okay. It still looks really, really nice. Again, go in with your knife to make sure that you have nice crisp edges where the vinyls meet. I really think having this two-tone vinyl strip really pulled this tumbler together. Let me know what you think in the comments. To finish up this tumbler, I did do a coat of glitter glue first, just to hold that textured vinyl in place. It can be a little bit of a pain. And then I went in with my coats of Grand Finale and sanded and kept going until it was fully smooth. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'm gonna put another vinyl wrap tumbler tutorial up on your screen so you can see what else you can do with that vinyl.